Hey guys, Scott here with another product review for you. Well, Hyper took me up on it. They did send me something else. It is the iPad USB-C Media Hub. This will turn your iPad into a computer and allow you to connect it to another monitor. It'll allow you to connect speakers. So let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. And uh, let's see if it does what it says it's supposed to do. This is the Hyper Drive 6-in-1 Media USB-C Hub for the iPad, and it claims to be able to turn your iPad into a desktop. Let's open this box up and see what's inside. Kind of lightweight, made out of aluminum. You've got an HDMI port right there that'll allow you to connect your iPad out into a monitor. There is a USB-C port here used for charging. There is a micro SD card and an SD card, which will allow you to get your photos and videos straight from the card onto your iPad. There's a USB 3.0 connector here to allow you to connect to a hard drive. And we have a headphone jack that allow you to connect headphones or speakers. This is the USB-C connector. This end here is magnetic so that when it is connected to your iPad, it stays put. You can uh, remove this if you are using a case to give you a little more depth on the USB-C connector. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, underneath here, you've got a little extension cable. Now this, you could be used if your iPad is in a case or if you're even using an iPhone. So let's see how that connects. So you would take the spacer off and just line it up. It just snaps in like another cable. So now that we have it connected with the extension cable, while we're set up that way, why don't I get an iPhone and check out how it works? The hub claims to work with all USB-C devices, so why not plug it in here? We've got this monitor right here. We've got the phone. We've got the media hub and an HDMI cable. Let's try it out. So we have the phone, got the YouTube app open. We've got the hub and we're going to plug that right in. We'll take the HDMI cable. Plug that HDMI cable where it is. Oh, look at that. The phone screen has made its way over to there. Let's pick a video. Let's pick that review video just to see. Let's press play. Let's use the shortcut button to skip back. So these shortcut buttons will skip back, play, pause, and skip ahead. If you're planning on using your phone or your iPad as a desktop, you're going to need a keyboard connected to this hub. Otherwise, the typing functions on screen go away. But you could plug a keyboard into the USB port. Or if you had a, a Bluetooth keyboard, that would work and alleviate that problem that I'm experiencing right now. Just wanted you to, to know that. But that's pretty straightforward. Let's see if we can put some photos in an SD card and have them transfer to this phone or at least be able to view them on this phone. All right, so we've got the SD card loaded here. When I just hit play, it is playing music. So so if you don't have open an app, it defaults to playing your music. Interesting. Let's see if we can get this SD card in this phone to load. Oh, okay. Import has popped up. Let's press import. And there you go. It is now looking at the SD card. That is pictures of my son. Let's see, import that. We'll take this one with my, it's my son and wife on a tractor right there. How about this goofy one of him eating a piece of pizza? We will select import. And it gives you the option whether you want to keep it on your SD card or delete it to clear space. I'm going to keep it because I'm just doing this for example here. And then we'll go to the albums. And sure enough, in the My Albums, there are the photos that we just selected. And it comes up full screen. You swipe in there. It's the one with the tractor. 
And there's Marcus with the pizza. Oh, he's going to love seeing this on YouTube. Please leave some comments on this one for him. For a second test, first of all, we're showing that it's not just for iPads. We've already used it on an iPhone, and now I'm going to use it on my laptop. Let's plug it into the side, and then we get a message saying, allow accessory to connect. Let's close this and see if this, there it is right there. The no name drive is there. Has our photos. Oh, there's another cute picture of Marcus. Please, everybody, tag him and send this to him. Look at how cute he was. And our other screen, we have a second display. Let's bring over our window. There it is. There's our window with our photos from our drive. Let's embarrass my daughter a little bit, too. Oh, my gosh. What a cutie. That's my daughter, Maya. So, as you can see... Oh, look how cute she was. As you can see, the hub works just as it did on the iPhone, and it will as well on an iPad. This 13-inch monitor is now connected to a bigger monitor, so now I'll have a dual monitor with my laptop set up, which is great if I'm going to edit photos or edit videos. I have a much larger screen to be able to see the detail that you don't really see on a smaller screen. So to go from this to this is a much, much cooler situation for working and just reviewing. Let's open Chrome. We've got our YouTube page. Let's see if we hit play. Oh, okay. You better know it. Because this time, if you don't get it right, you're suspended for 10 years. So, just muting that for a second. So, by going to my page and I hit play on the short the shortcut button and it played my default my default video on my home page, which is the Riff Alma Mata song, Lean on Me. Check it out. It's awesome. It's already got 400,112 views. So keep it going, you guys. So if I hit pause again, it it paused the video where it was, mid midstream. So let me select this video here. Let's move this to the bigger monitor up here. So we can see, and we can go full screen. And I use it all the time. It is fantastic. Check out the review on the channel. If we hit fast forward, we're playing. We'll hit fast forward. Great battery for travel. Take it in an airplane, in a car. So the play and pause button works when connected to my YouTube videos. The skip ahead and skip and rewind is not working. Maybe because this video doesn't have chapters. I'm not sure. It does play videos. It does access media that is on SD card. It allows you to connect through HDMI to a larger monitor so that you then have a dual monitor setup, which is convenient when working to turn a little tiny laptop into a bigger stool monitor. That's awesome, especially for me for editing and doing videos. So it works. So the iPad USB-C Media Hub is not just for iPads, as we are proving in this video. We've shown it for use on a laptop, and we showed it for use on an iPhone. This is pretty awesome. I also wanted to show you that you can plug your hub directly into your laptop, and it will still work. You still see the drive. We're still connected to our monitor, and we don't need the extender, and it will still work. That's my review for the iPad USB-C Media Hub. I didn't have an iPad, but an iPhone has all the same operating system, so it works the same way. I also connected it to my laptop. So the hub, yes, it's advertised as being for an iPad, but you can use it on any USB-C device. It works great. It gives you the second monitor. The shortcut buttons allow you to play, fast forward and rewind your videos and your music when you're watching it or your podcast if you're listening to that. And 
it allows you to download photos and videos directly from your SD and your micro SD cards. I think it's a pretty awesome little hub. I'll drop a link in the description below. Go over to their website, check it out. And if you like what you see here, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you're notified the next time I put a video out. And again, thank you for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks to Hyper. Have a great day, you guys. Keep chasing those dreams.